Hi guys, Connor here from Golf Full Days Direct. I'm here with my colleague Mitchell, who is a European sales manager. We're here to talk to you today about golf holidays in Spain. Mitchell's going to kick us off. What would you say is the most popular area in Spain for golf? Most popular area of Spain is definitely going to be the Costa, Sol, Costa del Sol region. It's absolutely massive for starters. You've got over 40 golf courses, about seven or eight different popular towns, all of its different nightlife, bars, restaurants. You know, you've got marinas, you've got strips, you've got pretty much it ticks every single box a golfer could want for a golf holiday. A uh, personal favourite of mine is definitely Toro Molinos, staying in the Mark and Fort Grego Hotel. I think you can get all inclusive for about £50 a night for, for a couple of months a year. And you play great golf courses such as Toro Cabrada, Rio Real, Calanova, Santana, Chaparral, Lauro. The list goes on really. So you, it's one of those resorts or destinations where you can go back year after year and keep freshening it up so you'll never get bored. So for me, Costa del Sol definitely one of the most popular regions. I know it's one of your favourites as well, Connor. Yeah, yeah, I'm a massive fan. Obviously, you touched on Torre Molinos there. We've obviously also got, like you said, like seven or eight different towns, something like that. So you're kind of looking at Benel Medina. You've got the Hotel LA and Mac Puerto Benel Medina. Similar sort of pricing. They're kind of bed and breakfast orientated hotels. Um, but all of these towns are very close by to all of the golf courses that Mitch was just mentioned. Um, you've got Benel Medina with those couple of hotels that are probably two of the most popular ones. Uh, Fengarola, just down the road, you've got Occidental Fengarola, that's a personal favourite of mine that I like to, to sell to because that's a similar price as well. Uh, then you've obviously got the Marbella region, um, a few of the golf courses down here, talking more like Valle Romano, uh, and courses yeah. like that, Los Flamingos, Los Aqueros, um, so that's, re that's really good down there. Um, obviously we've got the Carla Resort, oh. so <clears throat> we've just spoke to you a little bit about the hotels that aren't necessarily linked to the golf courses, um, despite the golf courses being so close by. However, we have got a few resorts. So, uh, as, as I've just mentioned, Marbella, we'll talk about Westin La Quinta. Um, you've got 27 holes on site there, five star hotel, great bed and breakfast option, 10 minute cab journey to Marbella for the nightlife, um, for your bars and restaurants, as Mitch was mentioned as well. Um, back up the other way a little bit, we have got La Cala Resort. Um, obviously, the three courses on site we've got the America, Europa, and Asia. Also, massive hotel, different kind of options for room types as well, which is yep. really good, which obviously helps our our clients as well. Um, if the availability is not there, staying at the Carla, you've also got, just down the road, you've got the Vic Grand Hotel, which is a great all-inclusive option. I'm actually going there next year myself to stay oh, over nice. there. Play, and you can still play the free La Carla courses. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely kind of like a great area for golf over in the Costa del Sol. Um, I think that pretty much covers... One thing I was probably just gonna say, yeah. Costa del Sol is, Buggies are included on pretty much yeah. all of the golf courses <coughs> and you don't really get that in France, Portugal, Turkey, Morocco. You have to pay extra for them. So for that to be chucked in with the green fee, if you're pay, playing five rounds of golf, if you're paying for buggies, you're going to be looking at about £100, £120 each to share a buggy for those five rounds. Yeah. And then just lastly, I was going to mention the, the, um, the well, Stain's Finest. Yeah. Valderrama, yeah, yeah. La Reserva. Sort of grande, I think, yeah, Fort San. Yeah, obviously, they've got the uh, Solheim Cup down there. Solheim Cup, yeah. yeah. That is almost millionaire's golf. Valderrama was yeah. probably the best golf course I've ever played. Yeah, some lovely um, hotels down there as well. Some lovely there? hotels yeah. down there, yeah. Some people fly to into Travolta and go that way, or you can get the slightly longer transfer from Malaga. But for anyone that wants to play some bucket list golf courses that maybe is ticked off Orlando or, or other, you know, famous places like that, then Sotto Grande is definitely somewhere that you'll yeah. be impressed with. Yeah, it's a good one for if, you're, if your budget's a little bit bigger, I'd say, obviously. Yeah. Quite, they're quite expensive down there. I mean, yeah. Sam, Sam Rocket is a personal favourite as, as, oh, as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a great one down yeah. there. Um, but obviously, I mean, a number of those courses we just mentioned, a lot of them hosted DP World Tour events, yeah. Challenge Tour events, qualifiers and things like that. Um, I mean, the, the biggies, obviously Valderrama. Yeah. Right? It's, uh, Sergio loves it there, doesn't he, Garcia? He does, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's 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 great down there. Like I said, if you've got a bit more of like a bigger budget, I definitely recommend going down there. But yeah, the 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 list goes on as Mitchell mentioned with golf courses. It's just great down there. You just you got to go. If, a lot. It's quite a good alternative. A lot of people go to the Algarve every year. It's quite mm. a good switch there over to, over yeah. to Costa del Sol. Because I'd say it's quite similar definitely, with yeah. bed and breakfast and all inclusive options that you can do. A nice do. mix. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And obviously the golf courses are second to none. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely great. And then, what do you reckon, Colin? What's your next favourite place, or where do you recommend after after Costa del Sol? Um, so a bit more of a niche one, but I'd say kind of up and coming is going over to like the Barcelona Salou area. Yeah. <clears throat> um, there's 
you can fly out of multiple UK airports over to Barcelona and actually Salou as well. So the golf over there, we're talking Infinitum. Uh, you got the lakes and the hills course, and you also got a lovely par three on site as well. They're massively renovating that as well, so they're actually building their own accommodation options on site as well. Oh. So I'm really excited for that for 2024. Um, but failing that, you've got loads of really well priced hotels in the Salou area, which is only about 10 15 minutes from the golf courses. Salou is great for nightlife as well. So you've got those big groups, whether it's kind of like they go every year, they're looking for something a bit different, or yeah. a stag do, or something like that. It really does cater well for them, um, but yeah, that I mean, I've I'm looking for. I'm going over there early 2024 to play yeah. those courses. I'm really looking forward to that. But um, I have had a lot of groups come back recently, yeah. and they have said they absolutely love it. I actually, they actually booked the exact same trip yeah. for next year. But a couple of the hotels in the area, if anyone wanted to research them, you've got the H10 Salou Princess, very popular one, really yeah. well priced. Um, you've also got the Olympus Palace, which yeah. is just next door. Yeah. Um, that's only about five minutes from the golf as well. Yeah. Massive one over there, you have got PJ Catalunya, um, which is obviously great. You've got a stadium and the tour course over there. They've got two um, hotel options on site. Yeah. You've got the Camarao and La Vida, four star and five star. So people that have a little bit of a bigger budget can stay in the five star, obviously, four stars there, but they're all on site. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's that, that's a great complex. Another one that's hosted a lot of, kind yeah. of like events. Like, and yeah. and you can fly from most places in the UK, <coughs> you be in Barcelona or Girona, I assume. Then. Yeah, 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 one. Girona as well, yeah, that's another one. But, um, well, I mean, for example, I've had big groups that have flown from Manchester and Newcastle over to Salou. Uh, okay. It's a smaller airport, um, yeah. but it's obviously, if you've got direct flights going to there, it makes the transfers shorter and it's cheaper. Still accessible then. Exactly, yeah, yeah. But like you said, Girona's another option, uh, and Barcelona. I mean, if you wanted to stay in Barcelona, obviously an incredible place, uh, Barcelona itself, so you wanted to get the culture over there and then maybe happy to make a bit of a longer journey over yeah. to the Gulf, then that's obviously an option for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that kind of area is one of my favourites personally. That, and I, I've been over to PJ Catalonia, but I'm excited to go and play for Infinitum. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's one for me. Now we've covered a couple there. What would you say? Well, another one, that a lot of popular one is going over to sort of Mercia, Alicante, Costa Brava. <clears throat> yeah, yes, yeah, that's, that's a lovely area. Yeah, I mean, you've got loads of fantastic resorts. You've got, I mean, you, oh, the great thing about Spain is that there's a budget for everybody. <laughs> Over in the Mercia, you've got your your Marmanors, your Roda, which is slightly cheaper or more of a budget. <laughs> yeah. You've got some great courses included with those courses as well. Hacienda Links, uh, Serenes as well with Marmanor. Yeah. Yeah. You've also got La Manga, which I know we've touched on in other videos, but free golf courses on site, not far transfer from Mercia. But then more touch on the Alicante region, you've got the Emilia Villatana, yeah. you've got Pontiente and Levante, two great golf courses, Pontiente is slightly shorter. Yeah, Pontiente is, <clears throat> I think that's like, yeah, like a par 62 or something, but yeah. it's not a lot, of, you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't shy away from that because of that, no. it's a really tricky little course, yeah. you don't hit driver off the tee, yeah. so it's really like manu like getting your way around, yeah. like being clever, yeah. whereas, um, where, whereas Levante is yeah. obviously kind of like their main signature course, yeah. but you also get buggy included all year yeah. round at Poniente, yeah. um, which is a nice bonus, and a lot of uh, a lot of big groups like to have their buggies, I mean, it's a 10 minute cab from Benidorm as well, so <laughs> if you are looking for that nightlife, then that, that's yeah. there for you, yeah. but um, but yeah, Meli Villatana is a popular one, I'd say also in Alicante you've got um, La Finca, as well, yeah. um, Las Ramblas, Villamarte. I mean, the list goes on in all of these areas in Spain, doesn't it? So, it is, yes. Yeah, but, um, of yeah, I think that, that pretty much covers that kind of area, but we've also got kind of down a bit more closer to the border, yes. uh, Portugal. Yes. Do you want to get into uh, a couple yeah, of El Rompido, you fly into Faro, a lot of people don't really know about going uh, east across the bridge to Faro, from Faro to sort of Islantia, and the El Rompido area. El Rompido, mm. great hotel. It's half board, so you've got your breakfast and your dinner included. They've got the North and the South course, which are two fantastic golf courses. You're probably looking at about an hour transfer each way, but then when you're actually in Spain itself, as, a, as an area, it's a lot cheaper than the Algarve. So when you want to go out for your drinks, in your bars, eat in your restaurants, yeah. buy your souvenirs, or even in the pro shops and things like that, it does tend to be far more cost effective and again it switches up the options so if, if you're a, you know, a frequent flight to the Algarve, not to take any away, anything away from the Algarve, but El Rompido is a great resort and again the Islantia area I know you've been to a few Yeah, times. yeah, yeah, I've been over there myself. Yeah, Another thing to say about um, El Rompido, it's, it's a little bit of a quieter area, 
not obviously as Mitch mentioned you've got the half board so you have got your dinner included but there is also a semi all inclusive upgrade as well which is which is really good um obviously you get your drinks included from I think 5 p.m till midnight yeah midnight um if you did literally just want to stay on the resort but it is huge there um I don't know if you, I think you're planning on going there next year I've been over there myself two different like accommodation types as well you've got you can you can do a, go down the apartment route. You yeah. also got that massive hotel with of hotel rooms. So, um, Islantia is a lovely little one as well. Um, so I definitely definitely recommend going to that kind of area. Um, another thing to point out: the transfer kind of system over there is fantastic. They're really reliable. Mm, they are both airport transfers and golf transfers as well. Um, so definitely, yeah, it's, it just all runs like clockwork once you get over there. So I think one final kind of like resort I think we should mention over in a little kind of like different area to the ones you mentioned so far, I would say Monte Castillo. I think you're a bit of an expert yeah, on that Yeah, yeah, so Monte Castillo, not many people know about Monte Castillo, but it's a great resort. You, you normally fly into Jerez, but there aren't many flights from many airports in the UK, so we normally recommend flying to Seville, getting a short transfer over from Seville to Monte Castillo. It's a great Jack Nicklaus designed course. You've got tennis courts, football pitches, indoor and outdoor pools. The hotel is five star. Um, yeah, it's a great part of, of Spain, you know, not far from the Atlantic coast. So one that we definitely recommend to a lot of clients. And it's a really good price because not many other golf packages in and around that area. So really, you know, they keep their prices really competitive to attract people to the area. So for that reason, you know, if you've been to Costa del Sol or a Canton Fancy Change, then Monte Castillo is definitely a bit of a hidden <coughs> gem, really. Yeah. I think that's us. Uh, I think we've covered pretty much every area of Spain there. I mean, if you were to pick a particular area, would you say you had a favourite or oh, a favourite? It'd have to be the Costa del Sol, yeah, just purely because there's so much going on. You can so many flights to Malaga, you know, price wise, packages wise, and you know, the diversity yeah. and what you can book is yeah, it's unparalleled really yeah. in Europe. I think I definitely have to agree with you. But um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed that video, everyone. Um, we've covered pretty much all of Spain there in terms of the resorts, golf courses, hotels, transfer situation as well. Uh, if you have any further questions, then feel free to contact myself or Mitchell at Golf Holidays Direct uh, or any of, the, any of the other sales agents as well. We'll be more than happy to help you. Or if you want to comment below, if you really enjoyed the video, then please let us know. But that's it for us. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers, guys.